What's up guys? Today, I wanna teach you the tricking battle basics. I'm gonna go over what a tricking battle is. I'm gonna give you an example battle so that way you guys know exactly what to look for. And then I'm gonna go over the rules, regulations, and infrastructure regarding tricking battles and tricking events. So with all that said, let's get started. First, I wanna give a basic description of a tricking battle. In a tricking battle, two or more athletes go head to head to decide who is better at tricking. And this will usually go down to the difficulty of their tricks, the style that they perform them with, and how well they execute them. If you can do all of that well and show the audience and the judges that you are a better athlete than your opponent, then you win. Now guys, that is the basics. And with that, I wanna show you a ton of examples of battles in the community. Battles will usually be hosted at gatherings or other tournaments, and in them, you can find some of the best athletes in the world. Names to look out for are Aiden Kennedy, Jacob Pinto, and Johan. These are amazing athletes, and if you watch them and study how they battle, you will be well prepared to battle in the future. Next, I wanna show you guys an example of a tricking battle. Beside me are two athletes. We have the Ice Lord on this side and Brendan Morrison on that side. Today, these two athletes are gonna go head to head in a one minute timed tricking battle. And in the comments down below, you guys decide who wins. So let the battle begin. Now that we've done our battle, I wanna do a little bit of analysis. One thing you'll find is in Brendan's passes, he did a good job of showcasing clean kicks and high level tricks. The Isoloid didn't throw that many high level tricks, but he did a good job of mixing transitions, style, and fluidity along with the fundamental tricks in the sport. Both athletes did a great job, and honestly, either one could have won the battle. Like I said, leave me a comment down below. If you were to judge this battle, would you have given it to the Ice Lord or to Brendan? Finally, I wanna end by talking to you about the rules, regulations, and infrastructure surrounding tricking battles. And honestly, there isn't much. 
When it comes to rules, the world is divided. Half the world goes by pass, like at Hooked Gathering, and then the other half goes by timed formats, like with Adrenaline. Honestly, I don't really have a preference between passes or timed, but if we're not under one standard, it's gonna be hard for people to really invest themselves in tricking battles. Because your training will change if you're competing in a pass-based format or a timed format. Now, as far as regulations go, there are none. Athletes will trail other athletes, get in their face, and just try and put them on tilt so that way they fall and they fail on their tricks. I don't like to battle like that. I think it creates a worse show for the audience, but that is something you will see if you go battle at a tricking event. And finally, the infrastructure. When it comes to the infrastructure for tricking, it is bare and young. There's not that much out there in terms of gym space, in terms of competition venues. It's just growing and young. So guys, you really need to understand, if you want to be a tricking battle athlete, you might need to be patient. There is still a lot of work to be done, and while people are doing a great job in putting the pieces together and creating competitive formats, we still have time. So guys, keep training, keep working, and keep focusing your energy towards getting better. Because if you do, eventually, you'll be able to go and battle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I plan on making a ton of battle content in the future. So if there's something you guys want to know, leave it in the comments down below. And if you want to go deeper with mastering tricking, consider becoming a patron. For just a dollar a month or more, you get direct access to me and a ton of rewards. But thank you again and have a lovely day.